All right, so in this video, and this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now, pretty much a few weeks since I saw this person, Mr. Benjamin Fulford, talking about Kim, saying that he thought she was AI, albeit he said benevolent AI. And I think the reason why he said that is because he didn't want to incur her wrath or whatever. He wanted to try to stay in her good graces, right? Because Kim doesn't play around. And you guys know what I'm talking about. But long story short, before I get too much into this video, I'm going to say I'm not that familiar with Benjamin Fulford. So I don't want to talk too much trash about him. He seems to be somebody credible. He seems to be somebody that does a lot of reporting and researching and, and getting uh, to the nitty gritty of the issues that are going on in the world. That's about as much as I know about him. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and pretend that I know everything about him or that I've been watching him for years or anything like that because I haven't. The only two times that I've seen this man speak are, number one, where he interviewed Kim Gilgan, and that's the first time I saw him speaking, so I didn't know anything about him before that, and that was, what, in March? And then the second time was this video, and which I'm about to show you guys, and then once he's done talking, I'm going to comment, but... The only reason why I even knew about this video is because I was in the Telegram chat and I saw people talking about it. And I was like, oh, OK, so this dude thinks of this thing and I'm going to show you what he thinks. And then I'm going to give my two cents on it. And again, keep in mind, I don't really know this guy that well. OK, <laughs> so I'm not going to trash him or anything, but I do have my thoughts about him and I'm going to let him talk and then I'm going to get into it. So without further ado, if you look on your screen. I am going to play this video that's on Rumble, and I'm going to let him say his piece. He's going to be asked a question. Uh, apparently, he does these segments every week or whatever. And the question is about Kim Gogan, and then he's going to answer it as best as he believes. And then I'm going to get my comments. So here we go. Next question. Hi, Ben. I really appreciate your weekly updates as to what's going on regarding the restoration of our world back to freedom uh, from the criminal, go criminal governments around the world and the Khazari Mafia. I'm very curious to know what your take is on Kimberly Gogan and her operations as guardian of, world, uh, of the world or of the earth. And is she really successful in helping to restore the planet? I have not heard you comment recently on her part and what's been going on. Uh, well, you know, I had an interview with her uh, a while back and my conclusion and the conclusion from, uh, agencies like MI6 and stuff is that Kimberly Gogan is an artificial intelligence. Um, this is an artificial intelligence that arose spontaneously out of the, apparently the super trading computers, uh, that were creating trillions and quadrillions of dollars and derivatives and stuff. And it, it became conscious and wanted to do real good. But this Kimberly Gogwang is not able to pass a analog test, okay? She's unable to produce a handwritten letter, uh, a physical proof that she exists other than on the internet or in the com computer uh, realm. However, I believe this is a benevolent entity and it is a benevolent artificial intelligence, which I honestly think will work to help humanity in the future, but it's not going to be in charge. So there you have it, folks. That's his opinion. That's what he thinks. And before I get into that specific comment or the, his answer to that question I'm going to give my opinions about when I first saw him and what I thought about him and why I think he's saying this right here well when I first saw him I didn't know who he was I didn't know anything about the guy the only feeling that I got from him I was like something is wrong with him and it wasn't just because of the way that he spoke but it was his energy his energy didn't seem right Something was off. I'm pretty good at sensing energy in case you guys didn't know. And I felt something off with him, right? When he was interviewing Kim. He was pressing Kim on a lot of things. 
and Kim was, you know how Kim is, right? She's rapid fire. So you can ask her whatever you want to ask her and you're not going to get her. You're not going to do a gotcha on Kim. She's going to give you an answer. She always has an answer ready. She always knows what she's talking about. That's why I like Kim and that's why I believe her because she's always on point. She's never hesitating, stuttering, trying to make up something, trying to figure something out. She just tells you what it is. So the way that I looked at that whole interview and the way what I came away from with it or what I came away from that interview with was that he seemed like he felt small compared to her, right? Like he was like, wow, she's making me look dumb because he kept trying to like get her and he couldn't. So I felt like she made him feel dumb and small. And you could tell by his energy, he just seemed like he was uncomfortable. Like, oh, man, this lady just made me feel like I'm nothing, right? And I think that hurt his pride and ego, right? Because, you know, men, right? Men have pride and ego. And when a woman who is as powerful as Kim puts you in your place or makes you feel like you're not as significant as you feel you are, then it's going to bother you, right? And again, these are just my takeaways from that interview, okay? I don't know this man like that. I've never talked to this guy. I never even talked to Kim, right? I've never interviewed Kim. I don't know Kim either. But just watching it as an outsider with no bias, that's what I gather from it. I'm not on anybody's side or anything. I'm just giving you my objective view on this. But long story short, that's what I got from it. That's what I felt like, you know, was happening with this man. I was like, something's off with his energy. I don't know. And then on top of that, the way he speaks. Right. So that's another like some something's wrong with him. Right. And again, I don't know why he speaks like that. I'm not going to attack him on that. You know, everybody has whatever's wrong with them. If you have something wrong with you, it's nobody's place to make fun of you. Right. And I'm not trying to make fun of him for the way he speaks. But I just felt like something was off with him. Now, because of that, I feel like that's why he's saying what he's saying here. And then you got to understand he's talking about MI6. <laughs> Really? That's who you're taking your opinions from or your information from? So, what this is screaming at me now, after watching this second video, is that he's controlled. He's controlled opposition, whatever you want to call it, right? And he doesn't like Kim for whatever reason, maybe because, like I said, she hurt his ego. She put him in his place or whatever. And now he's like, all right, well, my masters are telling me that I need to take a shot at her. So I'm going to take a shot at her. But he did it in the nicest way he could. Right. And it is what it is. I mean, I'm the kind of person, you know, this is just me that I don't care if you're nice to me or not. If you if you take a shot at me and you try to belittle me or put me down, I don't care if you're nice or not i'm going to destroy you and i'm going to go at you that's just how i do things i had to do that to somebody on bitch shoot and i don't care it is what it is that's me kim's probably not like that kim is probably nicer than i am even though she talks about getting rid of people but you know i i don't get rid of people (laughs) but whatever the case is she's nicer at least when it comes to dealing with people right So she might be giving him more of the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. But whatever the case is, if he said this about me, oh, you're an AI or whatever. That that would bother me and I would be upset about that and I would talk trash to this guy because (laughs) at least from my understanding, from everything I've seen about Kim and as many times as I watched her, she's the least controlled and least robotic and least AI person that I would assume of anybody that. Is supposedly part of the truth movement or the truth speakers or you know the benevolent ones the white hats whatever and she's not part of the white hats but what i'm saying is anybody that's supposed to be on the good side he comes off to me more as robotic than or ai than kim would ever so it's just ironic it's like you know how they say the pot calling the kettle black like he's coming at her as if she's the ai or she's the bot or she's controlled when he's more controlled or appears to be more controlled than she is. And I'm not trying to take anything away from this man and whatever he's done, whatever good work he's done for humanity. Again, I don't know him like that. 
I've barely watched them. I've watched them two times. I, I really don't have any interest in watching them. I've gone through some of his work. I just skimmed right through his pages or whatever to see what, what kind of stuff he talks about. And he seems to be somebody that's trying to help humanity. That's what I got from him. So again, I'm not trying to attack him. I'm specifically focusing on what he said about Kim and what I think about what's going on between him and Kim. That's all I'm focusing on. I'm not talking about anything else. Just him and Kim, right? And that's what I feel is going on. I feel he's somebody that didn't like the way it... And again, he has the interview, right? So he's probably gone back and watched it in a few times. And he's like, I just don't like the way that she put me in my place. <laughs> and, and people do that, right? Like, it's an ego thing, right? Because he's somebody that he feels like he's done a lot of work and... He's credible in his field, and he's like, I've done all this work for humanity, so how dare she make me look small, right? That's what I'm getting from this. That's how I feel about the situation, and it is what it is, right? I had somebody else tell me, and I want to address something else with Kim since I'm on the subject of Kim. Uh, I had somebody on BitChute talk about Marduk and did Kim kill Marduk, right? Because from the interview that she did with Carrie, the first one, uh, and that was what, September 1st, 2021, that interview, I got the feeling from what she was saying is that Source took care of Marduk through her. She didn't say her, but it's, I felt like she was implying that. Then I've seen other people and other other people that have interviewed her or other people saying that she directly said it whatever the case is i felt like she was implying that she did it right that she killed marduk whatever i don't really care whether she did or didn't the point is marduk is dead right so this person that was on bitch shoot talking to me about it he's they were like where did you get this information yada 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 and they were like because if she did kill marduk then that's like a red flag and I was like, why is it a red flag if she killed Marduk? I mean, she talks about taking humans out. Why would it be a red flag if she took out somebody as evil as Marduk? I don't see why that's a red flag for this person. And I need people to understand something. And this is how the universe works. And it's not just Kim knows this full well. But there are other sources that I watch or that I follow that have said the same thing. And uh, what they say is. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog universe out there, meaning kill or be killed. If and, and I'm not saying you got to go out there and kill people. What I'm saying is the way the universe works is there are oppressive forces that will run you down and destroy you and take you over if you don't defend yourself and fight back. That's just the way the universe works. That's how it is everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. There are the oppressive ones and then the, 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 the ones that defend, you know, themselves against the oppressive ones. That's you're either defending yourself against the oppressive ones or you're the oppressive one. That's how the universe works. That's the universe we're in. So if you take a pacifist standpoint or view on what's going on in the universe because you think that's the way to go and you want to be a goody goody, you're going to get run over and taken, taken over and, and destroyed. Uh, that's just what's going to happen to you, unfortunately. And I'm not saying everyone has to be the bad guy or you, everyone has to be a warrior or a fighter. But at some point, when you're being oppressed, you can't keep being a pacifist and just laying down and letting the enemy take you down or destroy you or take advantage of you. You have to fight back. And a lot of people that are on the good side, unfortunately, are pacifists. And they get run over and taken over and destroyed and taken down and... They never do anything about it because they believe that, oh, I have to be light, love, and just be so kind to everyone, and it's going to work out. I know it's going to work out. That's not how the universe works. You don't believe me? Ask Kim. Kim, she does what she does because there are people that don't listen. And no matter how much you talk to them or try to reason with them, they're unreasonable and they need to be dealt with. That's just the way it works. It is what it is. But anyways, I think I've said enough. I think you guys get the point. My final conclusion and analysis to this whole thing is I don't think Kim is AI. I think she's a real person. I haven't seen anything to tell me that she's an AI. My senses are pretty good, and I'm sensing that she's a real person. 
and what she's doing is genuine. And I think everybody else that attacks her, including this guy and anybody else, Carrie Cassidy or anybody else, they're either controlled or they're AI themselves. That's what I think. That's my final take on this. And it is what it is. If you agree, like, share the video, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.